Hi YouTube, welcome to another edition of Mr. Advice, where you send me your questions and I shove the answers right back at you in your mother's fucking fat face. Let's move along, alright? First off, let me just say that that YouTube gathering thing, I gotta admit, I'm sorry people, but I was just a bit excited, you know, meeting Kev Jamba, uh, Timothy De La Ghetto, uh, Brookers. You know, they're just like, they were the originals, you know what I'm saying? They, psh, they do their thing on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to still do my thing, underground, baby. Keeping it real with Mr. Advice. And rants, blogs, whatever. Anyway, let's move on to these questions, all right? I print them out at the library. By the way, people, if I don't answer your questions, if I don't answer your questions in this video, relax, okay? I got tons of questions, okay? Anyway, let's move on to this fucking edition of Mr. Advice. Fan of wrestling, one, two, three. Hey, Faded, I have graduated from high school and I'm returning for an extra year to do extra courses throughout grade nine. I have been hanging out with the same nerdy friends and they are also coming back for another year. One of them picks on me and the other one is an ignorant prick who made fun of my other friend. Should I lose them and find other people to chill with or should I have to suffer from them? Dude, you gotta take care of yourself first, all right? Why should you have to suffer or a bunch of fucking idiot friends that just don't know how to, that just don't know how to behave in public. Look at this. Uh, one one of them picks on you, and the other one is an ignorant prick and made fun of your other friend. If you're not comfortable chilling with these people who are supposedly your friends, then don't chill with them. It's that simple. It's nothing wrong with, with trying to maybe like every once in a while chill with them or stop stop and make small conversation with them in the hallway. Like, hey, what's up? How you doing? Anyway, I gotta, get to, I gotta get go to my class, bro. I'll see ya. You know, I understand. Sometimes I don't like chilling in large groups of people because there's always that one wannabe show off or that one other prick that just has to throw his obnoxious, uh, ignorant, stupid ass comments that I don't want to hear. You know, show offs or just just fucking morons that just don't know how to be don't know how to behave. You know. See, I don't like to bring. When I'm out in public, you know, it's fun to hold the camera and chill and wild out like that, but there are times that, you know, I just, I, I, I like, I'm, I'm chilled and laid back, you know? I'm guessing that's the kind of person you are. You know, you're just a chill, laid back person. Like I said, you don't have to suffer from them, right? Don't chill with them that often then, all right? Let's move on. That's common sense. Our next question comes from, it's Steven and Tony's. <clears throat> okay, this guy's from the Philippines. I can tell because of your, uh... English uh, structured language over here, the way you structured this sentence here. Uh, I'm Torres. I live in the Philippines and I made my cousin pregnant. I'm 13 and now she's 15 and she's 15. So that's a bit early to get a baby. Yeah, no fucking shit. How are we gonna tell our parents about that? P.S. I thought it was safe to fuck because I only have a three inch penis. So I thought it would be, it would be impossible to make my cousin pregnant. And she was sleeping, so she didn't even know until I told her. Just tell her if you would think I was ignorant. I know she's still mad, but she needs help. Please help us how we should tell about that to our parents. Dude, listen. Were you from the southern part of the Philippines? Because you're 13, and you fucked your cousin who's 15. Kill, 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 kill. Anyways, um... Man, and how... Look at this. You didn't... She didn't even know that you're pregnant, that she, that you were sleeping. She was sleeping and she didn't even know. Dude, it sounds like you like raped her or something. You raped your cousin with your three inch penis. Anyways, if she is pregnant, your cousin, you, there's no way to, what? there's no way to avoid this, you know? I, I can't just make the fucking baby disappear off her fucking, uh, fallopian tubes through her fucking, um, what do you call her, ovary eggs or whatever. Somebody's, somebody is going to have to tell the parents that it's either you or her. You guys, both of you are going to have to get together. When that belly starts showing, the 15-year-old girl, when you see her stomach growing, you're going to have to tell your parents and her parents, aunt, uncle, mother, dad, mother and father, listen, this is what happened. Um, one day I was being a stupid, immature 13-year-old kid. I decided to stick my 3-inch penis inside my cousin. And now she's pregnant, you know? Mom, dad, I apologize. We don't have to keep the baby. We'll give, and you can give it up to, to an adoption agency, to an orphanage in the Philippines. That's the best advice I can tell you, dude. 13, come on, man. What are you doing having sex with your fucking cousin? You're 13. 
someone at your age should just be doing little kid things. Let's move on. Lonely Insomniac 666. This girl in my block really likes me, and she is one fine piece of ass. She's always texting me too, but she is 15 and looks pretty pretty young for a 15 year old and I'm 17 I don't know what to do man she also has an 18 year old brother who is really strong please help okay why are you worried about the 18 year old brother you should be worried if, if you're gonna maybe try to cause if you're thinking of trying to cause harm or force yourself on the girl you know I'm pretty sure the guy is probably overprotective of his sister if that's the case you may not want to get involved with that because at 18 the brother's probably a fucking jock or a wannabe the 18 year old, like I said, he's a, he's a, he has that teenage mind, so he's probably a jock who wants to protect his sister. Um, but dude, you're 17, she's 15. There's not really a big deal with, with that. If you really like her and y'all like each other and maybe you want to get to know each, other, know each other as a friend or whatever, hey, go for it, dude, you know? At 15, a girl at 15 with that mentality, they, they down for whatever, bro. I'm pretty sure she'll be easy and chill to talk to. But if you guys do, to, do um, decide to do anything beyond your friendship condom please you don't want to get her pregnant okay you know you got to finish up school you know the common fucking sense that you got to use you know that's common sense please people don't let me fucking tell you that again <clears throat> gs gs fred because of i don't know how to say your fucking name gs because of fred anyways Hey Faded, I know this girl, and we, w we went to a party once. She got very drunk, she's 18 and I'm 17. She started to suck my penis, and then before I knew it, I got a bit into it, and cummed all in her, in her eye. She started screaming, fuck, fuck, fuck. Then her friends get, came in, and so did mine. They all saw us, and everyone was pointing at me, calling me small dick. And everyone took photos, and some big guy came up and kicked me square in the nuts. The next day at school, my penis was on a piece of paper on my locker. And the principal pulled me over for having it on my locker. And no, I've been suspended, and now I've been suspended for three weeks. All I was doing was having oral sex. And my life has been ruined. What the fuck do I do? Dude, listen. You learn from your mistakes. The next time you're uh, having a girl perform oral sex on you, you know, and you don't, and you don't want your friends walking in, Lock the fucking door in the room. Or better yet, why don't you go um, to a more private uh, area, a more private uh, place. Maybe like your room or another house. Maybe a hotel, a motel. You know, you fucked up. I mean, you're drunk. You left the, probably left the door open. Your friends came in. They took a picture. And the guy that kicked you in the nuts, yo, you should have you fucked him up, man. You should have kicked him right back in his fucking nuts. And yeah, that must be pretty embarrassing. The pictures posted on your locker and then the principal thought that like you were showing off your small penis or whatever. Um, dude, <laughs> fuck it. It's an embarrassing moment in high school. You know, we all have embarrassing, funny moments that we regret in high school. When you graduate and when you look back on the situation, you're going to be laughing your ass off. It's going to make a good uh, story to tell when you're hanging out with your boys or when you're hanging out with your peoples, you know girlfriends or whatever in the bar when you're older when you're just chilling out there in the club or whatever you know it'll make a funny story when you look back on it um so what the fuck do you do i don't know there's nothing you can do the damage has been done already you know i'm only mr advice i can only give you my small amounts of advice or uh some courage to um some motivation for, so that you can at least be able to show your face in school I know it must be pretty embarrassing that everybody at school must call you small dick boy or something. That's the case, you tell them, hey, at least small dick boy was getting head. At least I was ha having oral sex. And that girl didn't think it was small. Ain't that right, a uh, little hoe or something, whatever her name was. Let's move on.